These are the aluminum extrusions for the version 1.4 FarmBot kits. In every FarmBot kit, uh, we include a Z-axis extrusion. This is the 20 by 20 millimeter profile and it's 1,000 millimeters long. This is for the Z-axis and it allows FarmBot to move up and down through the cross slide. In every FarmBot kit, we include two gantry columns. This is the 20 millimeter by 60 millimeter extrusion profile and it's 500 millimeters long. This is what creates the vertical sections of the gantry on both the FarmBot Genesis and the XL version. In the FarmBot Genesis kit, we include one gantry main beam, again of the 20 by 60 millimeter profile, and it's 1500 millimeters long to create a 1500 millimeter wide gantry. In the XL kit, we include two of them, and these are joined together with a gantry joining bracket that allows for a three meter wide gantry. In the FarmBot Genesis kits, we include four 20 by 40 millimeter extrusions that are each 1500 millimeters long, and you use those four extrusions to create three meter long tracks on the left and the right side of FarmBot. And on the XL kits, we include eight of those pieces, so you can create tracks that are up to six meters long. You'll notice that the extrusions in the version 1.4 kits are now silver. In version 1.2 and version 1.3, the extrusions were all black anodized. We found though that when exposed to direct sunlight, though the black extrusions would become very hot. This could result in a burn if you touched them, and it also exacerbates the thermal expansion and contraction of the extrusions, which can cause problems, especially for longer sections of tracks where the extrusions are end-to-end -end and the thermal expansion compounds with more length. So having the silver extrusions minimizes the maximum temperature that the extrusions will get when exposed to direct sunlight, and it reduces uh, the risk of burn and uh, reduces the, the maximum amount of thermal expansion that will occur. In every farm bot as well, included in the uh, extrusion and lead screw kit, is this 800 millimeter long extrusion. It comes in this protective plastic tube, so you can slide it out there, and that is used by the Z-axis to allow the farm bot to move up and down. All of the aluminum extrusions have a special profile pioneered by the people at Open Builds. You can check out their website, openbuildspartsstore.com, to also order these extrusions. And this V-shaped profile works in tandem with these V-shaped wheels. And this is what allows the farm bot to move precisely in the X, Y, and Z directions. So included with every farm bot kit is 30 of these pre-assembled V-wheels. These are polycarbonate V-wheels, and then it includes two stainless steel rubber sealed ball bearings and one stainless steel precision shim in between. These come pre-assembled with the version 1.4 kits, so you don't have to worry about pressing in the bearings or putting in the precision shim. The other notable feature about the aluminum extrusions is the slots on all of the faces. And these slots allow the various components of FarmBot, including the plastic components and the metal plates, to be securely fastened to the extrusions in order to create the FarmBot structure. And so you can see, you take the T-nuts here, and you can just insert them. And then when you go and tighten the screws, the T-nut will rotate and grip the inside of the, the slot there and provide a secure connection. And then to remove the component, you just loosen the screw and you can slide that out. So this is a, a great feature of these aluminum extrusions because it allows all these components to be positioned wherever you want on the aluminum extrusion. So if you're gonna make your farm bot a little bit wider, a little bit narrower, you can do that very easily if you wanna add additional components, uh, you can do that as well. Uh, whether you 3D print your own parts or machine some new aluminum pieces, it's very customizable uh, and it's this platform for you to add and remove and change how the farm bot is put together.